yo, let's talk about an uncomfortable subject that is taboo, that most people don't want to act like they dabble in, participate in, practice in, or addicted in. And that's pornography and masturbation, pornography in general, you know. Um, it's, it's destructive. Let's be real. Be real with yourself. Don't try to justify it. You know it's wrong, okay? Do you feel good after you masturbate and climax and ejaculate? Do you feel good about yourself? Like, naturally, you don't. You just had sex with yourself, and you're watching other people have sex. I mean, it's not natural. It puts your sexual appetite and my sexual appetite in an unbalanced, natural state. Every sexual crime, rapist, or pedophile, nine times out of ten has a sexual porn addiction, a porn addiction, before it's led to those sexual crimes. So, it's not healthy, okay? Be real with yourself. But I haven't watched porn for three months and um, that's pretty good given how good, easily accessible it is on an impulse. So, stop porn. Be real. So in other words, I challenge you to stop being a slave to porn and lust. To have control over yourself. Don't let your genit genitals rule you. Okay? Don't let your hormones rule you. Alright? Trust me, I've been there. On those marathons, masturbating, watching porn for hours. You know, as a young adult. You know, I mean, it's addicting because, in, you know, endorphins are let off, dopamine, you know, in your brain. It can be very addicting, that arousal you get when you see other people having sex, doing sexual acts. But most of porn is so perverse. It makes our mind perverse. It's not healthy. You know, be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself. You know, say there's no God judging you on it. It'd still be wrong because you know it ain't healthy. You know what I'm saying? So think about it. And try to go a month or two without it and see what happens, you know? You'll be healthier, man. I'm telling you, your mind will be better. You'll be, your, your sexual appetite will be in a natural, balanced state. You won't be so overly lustful. My goal is to go the rest of my life to never watch porn again. Real talk. You know, you guys been on those sites. You see the views. It's a million people watch that. So you want to masturbate to the same scene that a million people already got off on? It's kind of sick. It's kind of just pathetic and pitiful. I'm good. I'm good on that. Most of all these fetishes and type of genres are disgusting. It's not even sex anymore. It's perverse, disgusting stuff. Always, you know what I mean? It's just, it, it goes it goes on and on to all kinds of perverted stuff. Stay away from porn, okay? And get back to the norm. Natural sex with a partner, okay? So, uh, that's that's healthy, okay? Have a sexual appetite that's healthy. That you get you get off with another human, you know, to hopefully your wife or your husband, not having sex with other people in your mind and trying to find that right scene with the right woman with the right guy to get get off on. It's ridiculous. Let it go. And another lie from the pit of hell is, oh, I need to watch porn so I know what I'm doing, so I can learn some moves and whoop de whoop de whoop. That's just a stupid ass justifiable excuse to watch it. Like you need porn to know how to have sex? Are you kidding me? Our basic natural instincts will show you show you how when you find a life partner to have sex with. Are you kidding me? Like, you're not going to figure out? It's not rocket science, people. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to watch other people to have sex to know what the hell you're doing. Okay? And you're not going to die if you don't bust a nut or ejaculate or skeet skeet, ladies. Okay? You don't need it. Stop being a slave to sex and especially porn. It's unhealthy for our minds, first and foremost, and our spirits. Okay, there's demonic spirits that come along with that. Okay, stop being in bondage to it. People get in bondage to porn. You know who you are. You know you can't go a day or two without it. If you can't, you're in bondage to it. And that's not good. Let it go. Pray.